Red pandas, like their better known cousins, the giant pandas, are an endangered species. Only about 10,000 remain in the wild in China and in neighboring Himalayan countries. The National Zoo in Washington, part of the Smithsonian Institution, is working to help save them. As Edward Lawrence reports, the Smithsonian Conservation Biology Institute in Northern Virginia is caring for seven recently born red panda cubs. The sounds of saving a species. Animal keeper Jessica Cordell hand feeds the youngest of seven red panda cubs recently born at the Smithsonian Conservation Biology Institute in Virginia. They are adorable. They are pretty cute. It helps when they're being very frustrating. The cuteness helps. This one is just two and a half weeks old. Cordell and the other animal keeper will raise five of the seven cubs born at the Institute. Oh no, oh no. Are these your kids? <laughs> They're like my kids, yeah. She feeds them by hand six it's times a day, from 6 a.m. Yes, to midnight, um, seven times a day for the two um, smallest red panda cubs, just two days old. Here we go. The cubs get antibiotics, sleep in incubators set to 88 degrees, and are treated like any child after birth. And now what are you doing? I'm um, just burping them a little. Um, but I haven't really heard them ever, like, outwardly. Belch, but we have heard it in other species, but it does kind of settle them a little. In the wild, red pandas are part of a complex web of plants and animals in the Himalayas, stretching from Nepal to Myanmar. But the species is endangered. Best estimates have about 10,000 red pandas left. How docile are these animals? Yeah, they're pretty calm as long as you leave them alone and let them uh, do what they want to do when you try. Steve to... Monfort is the director of the Smithsonian Conservation Biology Institute. So why do this? Why not let nature take its course? We know for sure if um, we allow nature to take its course, so to speak, that eventually uh, species like red pandas and others are doomed to extinction. Monfort says zoos must keep the species alive in captivity in case red pandas need to be repopulated in the wild. If we don't do that now, while well, there's still enough individuals to, to study, to understand, to reproduce, It'll be too late if we're called in, you know, when there's a catastrophe. Monfort adds each one has a role to play for the planet. We should care about things like diversity of species in the wild because uh, it benefits us directly in our own survival. The, the food, the water, the air that we need to survive all comes from these places where red pandas and other species live. Red pandas are among the most fragile animals in the world at birth. In the first four weeks of life, the cubs have a 50% mortality rate. I'm being ridiculously cute right now. Oh, 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 you woke up. Oh. Three cubs born at the Institute were from a mother in the last stages of skin cancer. She died after their birth. These two, just two days old, were taken away from their mother, Reagan, seen here in her habitat because of her history of abandoning her young. She hasn't had the best background history of maternal care. The last two panda cubs are with their mother in the red panda area of the Institute. All of them getting individual attention. You're done. You're all done. Once the red panda cubs reach four months old, they will be sent to other zoos in the U.S. Gordell hopes this gives them the best chance to keep their place in the world. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Edward Lawrence, Front Royal, Virginia. They are ridiculously cute, like you said. <laughs> I like hearing you say that. <laughs>